Hello folks, welcome to another dual cast this time however. Um, myself and Greppy will be dual casting a 3 versus 3. Say hello Greppy. <laughs> <laughs> hello everybody. Um, so it's pretty much a within the realm suicidal bash shall we say. We've got uh, Baconific, Mott and Mojo Baby against Liquius, Burnt Custard and Dutch Mikey. A few new players here but a few returning ones as well and uh, as we can already see pretty much standard builds from across the board. The only difference so far is that Black have decided to uh, split up their commanders while White has remained quite close to each other. Or well, one of their commanders have gone deep south though. Yeah, I'm just trying to find the other black commander now. Um, but yeah, the white ones, I'd say, can expand to each other. Um, whereas the black commanders can't really do that. Um, I'm wondering why they did pick that uh, isolated spot for that other commander, because there isn't great expansion there. <laughs> and they uh, only had one starting max anyway. I think possibly either they got in late or they were thinking that the enemy team aren't going to really be expecting people to spawn where there's not a lot of metal so maybe it's a place of sort of I'm going to start in a hidey hole and uh, turtle up to orbital potentially yeah maybe I don't think they fall that far ahead but uh... it's a possibility you never know but we do have white scouting uh, the double commander spawn from black now, so they do know where those are spawned. Relatively, the two teams are quite close in their sort of main spawns. There's only that uh, pond and a couple of cliffs between them. Yeah, and there's that huge, uh, what's it called, a uh, kind of uh, a chasm, splitting the north and the south as well. Black comes around, if white comes around the top, the other commander's a bit isolated. Yeah. Definitely. Um, I'm still struggling to get used to this blimmin' icon system. It's horrible. <laughs> I don't I like not being able to zoom out. <laughs> it's pretty annoying, but I think it's quite essential. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to see your orbital units amongst all the mess that's eventually going to get underway in this game. Unless you can have like a different coloured icon for your orbital units. But I honestly prefer zooming out further and being able to see, because like, this map has uh, got a big enough radius that it's not really yeah. ideal. Um, but surely, surely the reverse is applicable as well. It's like, for example, if you zoom in to see the uh, the ground icons, you're going to see the orbital icons above them. I mean, it's a possibility. If, but... if, you, if you have to zoom out that far, select your orbital lasers, for example, it's going to be quite hard to click a certain location you want to hit. If you have to zoom out that far to be able to select your units or whatever. Yeah, I guess. Anyway, but beta's beta. Anything subject to change. <laughs> White is building a currently building a shipyard inside that pond. And there's a lot of power and factories and in range of the boats that are going to come from that. That's if they can get it uh, hidden, that is. Um, but Team Black, on the other hand, are getting a advanced vehicle factory already. Both teams sort of spammed out with bot factories besides that. Uh, at least in their main regions. Team White has got that uh, air factory producing a lot of hummingbirds though for some air defense which is going to come in uh, handy later in the game especially if Team Black go for some bomber raids. Has that uh, commander been scouted by White yet? Or do they know that he's there by himself? I do not think so. I haven't seen it. That doesn't rule it out but I highly doubt it given the lack of metal around that location because when I scout certainly I look for the highest concentrated metal regions first and then go to the others. Uh, looks like he's just about to be scouted now actually there's metal sites there that there's a, a uh, humming firefly in fact flying over just dealing a little bit of low damage to that but uh, he'll probably see that if there's something there then there's going to be something nearby so the white commander is expanding in that direction right now Expect to see some factories if he if he notices that the commander's there by himself. Yeah, I have I seen. They should apply aggression to him if he's by himself. Definitely, I think that'll That's definitely be useful. But uh, that commander only has one bot factory. It looks like he's spamming up on uh, eco compared to the other ones who are going more for the military. And we do have a blue bottle or two, in fact, out now. They are starting to lay siege to those energies, energy plants. 
and uh, we see some mobilization of doxes and some fabricators in answer to this still producing factory build queues though interestingly enough i think they're getting to some pelters now indeed they are but they're going to get taken out way way before they can build that so that's some good raiding from team wide they are very very strong when they're left alone like that the range is ridiculous and especially because yeah, I mean, they have that hummingbird there as well, so they can get the vision, they can get the intel, so uh, they'll be reaching their maximum range potential there easily, especially considering Team Black hasn't got... Uh, in fact, I say that just as I notice the anti-air coming out of the bot factory. Um, so that hummingbird does want to be a little bit conservative in how far it presses forward, but in comes Team Black's answer to that. Oh, there it now are they been producing bombers from their factories nope. Not yet. no I don't actually see um, oh there's the air factories right so probably just hummingbirds but they they are getting pelters up I think maybe uh, interestingly enough that commander doesn't seem to be doing anything I think maybe their answer is going to be levelers or shellers because they seem to be too far away to begin with yeah way too far away but I think that's stopping Team White's turret creep over here. If you can call it a turret creep, given that it's anti-air turrets. Oh, they're still annoying when they're put around every single mech's point. Yeah. Mojo is still loading. Ah, that's why that commander's not doing very much. I wondered why it was sort of laying dormant. But that uh, advanced vehicle factory is sitting there. That would explain the isolated black commander as well, maybe. <laughs> Potentially, yes. I think maybe one chose to go for that while the other person controlled two commanders um, while Mojo loaded in, so yes, I think you're right there. <clears throat> you know what I've just noticed as well? Is if I zoom in very far, I lose all the icons. Oh. There's literally a very small place where I can see the icons. Yeah, it's about three clicks on my zoom wheel. One, two, three, yeah. And there's now an advanced bot factory going up on the uh, the isolated black commander's base. So possibly some slammers, but uh, maybe seeing some advanced econ production over there and possibly a jump to orbital. I don't see the, the use in, uh, in Tech 2 bots right now. I hope they're building economy from those, because they're pretty useless otherwise. I tend to get T2 bots because I much prefer the pathing of their fabricators to vehicles. I just find it more manoeuvrable than the vehicle fabricator pathing. <clears throat> oh yeah, they're so much faster than vehicles too, with I mean, the same build power as well. Yeah, I mean, if <clears throat> I'm not pushed to go to units first, I'll probably get an advanced bot factory before an advanced vehicle, precisely for that reason. White is putting on some hurt right now. The, uh, the isolated commander is getting harassed and there's a, quite a few bots running around the main base of, um, of Black now as well. Yeah, Black does have Never, uh, a I bit of defense. I just saw by bots. <laughs> <laughs> just got to find it. My word. Oh yes, wow. Yeah, those bots are running around a little bit, aren't they? They're doing a lot of damage to those uh, defensive units that aren't managing to get into uh, a big enough group to do substantial enough damage on their own. But uh, that raiding has now gone from prevailed defense. Fortunate enough, they had that many bot factories. That's quite a lot of bot factories they have there with that build power. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 in that one location. Uh, lots of bots just coming out into uh, your default rally point and not uh, forming a clump or death ball, shall we say. I don't fancy Black's chances right now. There's a lot of factories from White, and they're already getting their Tech 2 power up. Yeah, they're getting the Tech 2 power, Tech 2 metal as well now. Um, and they've got... Yeah, we can see forces sort of beginning to conglomerate on various different uh, fronts. But here we have a large push coming in from Team Black. Dox is combined with Stingers in between the cliffs. And there's not a lot of defense here. So uh, we'll probably see quite a bit of damage being done. The only defence really are a couple of commanders and the possibility of some rapid uh, tower production from fabricators if they ha if their econ can handle it. 
Yeah, there's those turrets right now you were saying about. I don't even like the chances of the commander trying to fight this. Uh, yeah, the commander is wisely moving away. Mm. Those bots will absolutely punish that commander. <laughs> How dare you try and uh, combat our forces. But the stingers are there and rather intelligently because of uh, the necess necessity of uh, mobile anti-air now, given that tanks cannot shoot at air units in this build. <clears throat> oh, there's some illegal wall spam there. Oh, where is this? Where is this? Please let me know. Oh, indeed, I see it. This is why I prefer seeing icons. <laughs> You enforce those rules. I think maybe they had hurried to put up a couple of turrets, and um, the possibility was one of the turrets building was cancelled because the other one was produced over it or something. I have had that a couple of times. Yeah, it's still illegal though. <laughs> I know, but. God, those turrets are so good now. They are ridiculously powerful. And now that that uh, advanced one is produced. It's going to do a substantial amount of damage before it's taken down. I mean, even with those uh, doxes moving around, but they have got close enough to it. Does it uh, still shoot if they're that close? It doesn't look as though it is. They don't look as shoot if something's so close to them, they uh, it can't be hit. They don't uh, aim down that far. Are we calling that an exploit or a legit bit of um, movement? That's legit. Perfectly fine. All oh, right, because I haven't been on Planetary Annihilation in a little over a week, so I'm not entirely up to date on uh, what builds have been doing what. Um, the builds are a bit up in the air right now because the balance is also up in the air. Ah, okay. Um, tech, tech two rush is the most prevalent because you get a, an absurd amount of metal with uh, tech two. What is this tech two you speak of, good sir? <laughs> Oh, you know what I mean. <laughs> I know. I'm just messing with Advanced you. Advanced metal extractors. <laughs> Especially with the mass being so sparse. This hidden... Sparse or sparse? Sparse. But, uh, this hidden base from Team scarce. Black... Scarce. Scarce, that's the one. But sparse, I think. Sparse is also a word, I believe. Oh, look at that. <coughs> Sparsely populated. I remember that from the Star Wars quote. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, there was a little raiding force from Team White there trying to get into this uh, hidden base from Team Black. Not uh, with any success, however, because uh, Doxes did manage to repel that. But uh, the possibility is there for that base having been scouted, but there is a substantial anti-air presence and uh, defense on the ground. But over here we see a lot of uh, Doxes just waiting dormant on the borders. I'm not entirely sure what they're waiting for. Maybe uh, greater numbers. Oh, a major push for black coming into one of white spaces now. All Ooh. those unprotected um, mech points. Oh, I see it. Wow. And that's why laser towers are a little bit better than anti-air towers in defence <laughs> of this sort. This is a quite cool thing I like about the tech, the tech to um, advanced metal extractors work is that the the advanced metal extractor is killed. It leaves a wreckage behind which protects the, the basic metal extractor. <laughs> I think that needs to be fixed. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of cool though. Yeah. I'd say this is the first game I've tried to, to uh, cast in quite a while that hasn't lagged out for me. Or uh, terminated. But that oh, force from... Something right then. Uh, Uber, sorry. Uber's doing something right. Yeah. That force from Team Black is absolutely smashing that expansion there. Completely annihilated the defense force and those uh, three mech sites. And they were advanced. That's a pretty big deal. Yeah. It's quite a substantial loss to their econ. Although, hopefully, if that pathfinding sorts itself out, they can get themselves back together and avoid this secondary defense push from Team White, because if they can avoid that, they can do some damage to this uh, advanced energy field. But unfortunately, it looks as though they're going into the choke point. Can they move themselves away? There's a little group moving around the side. Looks as though Team White might just about come out on top of this one, especially considering Team Black is moving into those laser towers. That's definitely... Uh, 
Strong bit of defense from Team White there. Unfortunately, from Team Black, those bots went into a single file motion. Ah, oh, that's the worst feeling ever when that happens. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> Let's have an orbital up, and they are producing. A that is a lander. Satellite. Oh no! Yes, you're right. Radar satellite. That's it the one that reveals the entire map. It is indeed an advanced radar. They have the new art for this one now as well. I'm interested to see what that looks like because I, the last time I saw it, it was non-textured, fan-looking thing. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember. Team White doing a little bit of damage now um, with their slammer scamper army on the uh, northeast of Team Black's Doublecom base and a small group to the uh, west of it but that's going to get completely repelled by this huge swarm of uh, doxes now scampers if you will that have just come out of those factories and have just been rallied to one point that commander's not in a... there's two commanders that are, are quite exposed they're very exposed and they're not doing anything which is worrying they could be producing energy they could be producing storage but here come this push so this could see a double commander kill right now because that's got some advanced bots in it I'm not uh, particularly will kill those commanders quite easily yeah especially if they get close to them I remember they, uh, away, so they are aware that these units are coming but the commanders are still standing still Commanders are indeed still standing still, that's strange. Well, that bot army is not have been rallied to that location, but the bots were arriving and they're standing still. Mm. Fresh with the slaughter by white bots. Yes, reminds me of the going over the top in uh, First World War. Now those bots are moving into this huge fabricator grouping, and oh my word, they could have got some laser defense turrets up, but no... They got completely swamped. In come the scampers now, desperately trying to do something, but they're in a, almost a single file, effectively, considering they're just sort of coming in from all sorts of angles, but uh, that is going to get cleared up. They are outnumbered now. Um, but that was, I'd say, a lucky escape by Team White and an unfortunate uh, scouting and control from... I mixed them up, didn't I? <laughs> lucky escape from Team Black and an unfortunate control from Team White, rather than... Uh, forking to the south, they could have just headed straight in for the commander, but here we come uh, with a follow-up force from that. You know, they see those commanders there, but there is the defense force ready. And Team White's orbital satellite is out. The fog of war has been revealed. Let's have a look at that radar. That looks like the That's Hubble Space nice Telescope. Model. That's a very nice model. For some reason I get the impression that was a combination of uh, when uh, Uber a while ago said they were going to assist that uh, photograph satellite for anyone in space. I'm not sure if you saw that post. In, uh, I didn't. Uh, they said uh, they were pretty much geared up to support this pe group of people who are putting a satellite into space that uh, anyone can pay to have a photo taken. Uh. Yeah. I didn't see Uber's post on it though, but I do know about that project. I think it was a link on. Fighters as well, straight after this. I don't agree with that right now in this current state of the game. I don't really see the need for orbital fighters, period, because you can just get out enough orbital once you have it to, you know, suffice really. If you have the the econ to get orbital and maintain production you can always just build up another orbital or assist um, but we see team blank mobilizing here interestingly enough team white's little f rally point there getting found out and uh, eliminated before anything can be done about it still no transports from team oh, white the black has done that. oh here we go the black's moving now i was about to say if they have they done that uh, deliberately they would seem to be sitting still mm. I think what they're doing is grouping and moving around to avoid those uh, defences, but of course they are now, in doing so, going to avoid the orbital, unless they come due south right now. But uh, the possibility That's is... That's location. There is a double nuke and a catapult waiting there as well. Oh, I haven't seen those. Double nuke. Near the pond. Which pond? <laughs> North pond? <laughs> oh yes, I see now. Yeah, it was swamped with icons. Double new kind of cat. Wow. And a heck ton of blue bottles. 
This is one of my problems with these icons at the moment, the white icons, especially, and yellow and uh, occasionally green as well. I cannot read them because it's white on white. <laughs> oh, yeah. So to me, it just looks like white blobs. I mean, they... Especially when they fleshed out and watered down the colours in a re previous build where it was sort of white outline on a really bright um, light yellow. And it was in effect white on white, just a little bit of yellow. And with my poor vision, I can't really read that at all. <coughs> Come on, White, you must have seen those bots coming a mile off. You have an advanced radar. I think... No, they aren't getting a commander into orbit. I'm surprised they haven't gone into orbit just yet, because this moon here is ripe for the picking and slamming. Especially considering Team Black have got their feet squarely on the floor. Yeah, I don't see the point in them building Avengers right now. They can see the entire map. They surely should know there's no need for Avengers. Oh, Black's going straight towards that uh, orbital launcher right now. Ooh, must see. It's, is that it's enough to kill it? That's yeah, enough, that's yeah, definitely, especially with the lack of defence there. Down goes the orbital. So White's going to want to... White's reaction now is going to be no Black's reaction. Sorry, is going to build to build their own orbital launcher after they saw that. Probably. They're going to be worrying. Is there a commander in space somewhere? Space. Um, but I wonder whether they've seen the double nukes because I wonder whether White now have said screw orbital, we're going to nuke them to heck. And especially considering double nukes, I mean that's more indicative of a nuke strong strategy. Especially considering those two commanders are sat next to each other and still. They're not doing anything. <laughs> they need to do something there. You know, as we said. a huge Tech 2 army sitting inside Black's uh, isolated base right now. Lots and lots of. just idling. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. For anybody that doesn't know and who is watching right now, the commander is your most efficient builder. He builds the fastest. Use him all the time, just to keep him safe at the same time, especially after the 10 minute mark. Mm. If you want a nuke, use your commander. <laughs> what we do see now is this small clump of levelers moving towards Black's isolated base, and I have a feeling the commander is inadvertently heading towards where the levelers are as well. We could see a rather spontaneous commander snipe considering that pathing path fail, because that commander looks like he's about to walk straight into the cliffs and just sit there. Nope, he's going to move around the outside. The fabricators, however. see this happening as well, so they, they do have vision of the entire map. They know that that commander is there. <laughs> Black, however, do not have sufficient intel. I don't actually see even advanced radar now that they have their advanced fabricators. I do not see any advanced radar in this base. But I do, however, see a nuke launcher. Uh, the nukes from White are finished. Oh, we've got to watch they those. They possibly know that those two commanders are sitting right next to each other, and those nukes are going to fly once they realise. Oh, they definitely know those commanders are sitting next to each other. They haven't got fog of war. But there are doxes now moving in. I'm still not sure whether to call them doxes or scammers. It feels weird. <laughs> the real name is Dox, but for us alpha players, they were scampers before. Uh, it kind of just sticks. In come the levelers now on this commander. He's going to get caught out and he's going to get killed. Especially if he doesn't start moving away right this instant. He's just sitting there building bot factories. He is going to go. Nukes away. Nukes away and those levelers are on that commander as well. My word. Death. <laughs> Quadruple explosion, I believe that's called. <laughs> and another one over here in the distance. Wherever that was. Well, the time. Wow, that's pretty impressive. Pretty impressive that's indeed. The power of the radar, pretty much right there. <laughs> no need for planet smashing. Or planet cracking, as I like to call it. But uh, very good play from Team White. 
Unfortunately for Team Light, I think they were a little bit of a disadvantage because of the late load-in times. Did Mojo ever arrive? I'm not sure. Um, I genuinely don't know. It never greyed out any name on their team, so whether they maintained trying to connect or actually managed to get in is anyone's guess. We're all the same. Thank you for joining me, Greppy. And thanks everyone for watching. <laughs> Come back next time. Have a nice day.